Some local scientists are getting a boost from the Canadian Space Agency to study black holes. The new funding is for the International X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy Mission, led by Japan's Space Agency, with help from NASA and the European Space Agency. To tell us about that, St. Mary's University astronomy and physics professor Luigi Gallo joins us in studio. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me. So Luigi, tell us about this project. Um, the project has kind of a long history in Canada. We've been involved in, in projects leading up to this since about 2010. Um, but CRISM itself was launched in 2018, oh, sorry, 2023. And we've been working on it for a couple years now. And I'm part of a, a team that includes a couple Canadians and an international team from, from all over the world that's, that's working on the science from, these, from this telescope. Awesome, okay, so let's back up a little bit here. Um, a lot of people, you know, have this idea of what a black hole is, but what is it? Can you actually explain it to us? What's the latest science or latest research there? Sure, for sure. Um, a black hole is effectively a region of space that is so gravitationally um, intense that even light can't escape from it. So anything that would come in the vicinity of a black hole would not be able to escape from it. So when we say that we're actually studying black holes, it's not black hole themselves that we're seeing light coming from, but actually the environment around them. So we kind of see how the black hole is actually affecting the environment, how material is falling inwards, and some of the stuff that we're working on nowadays is how the material is being ejected and being thrown out of the environment around black holes. Uh, and just before we were chatting about uh, the different sizes of black holes too, and I found it very interesting. Um, what's the difference, I guess, or what's the concern for a smaller black hole versus a larger <laughs> one? I just found that so interesting. Sure, I don't think we really have to be too concerned about it, <laughs> but um, what I was saying was that if you get very close to a, a stellar mass black hole, a smaller black hole, it could actually tear you apart um, much sooner than a supermassive black hole. So uh, the idea is that a supermassive black hole, you could actually cross the event horizon before you get torn apart, but a stellar mass black hole would tear you apart much sooner. <laughs> So don't get too close. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that brings us to how close are they to our solar system or to our galaxy? Sure. Um, they're, they're all over basically stellar mass black holes. Smaller black holes can form from just normal stars. So they can be fairly close to us. I think the, biggest, uh, the closest supermassive black hole is Sagittarius A star, which is right in our own galaxy. And that's about 15,000 light years away. So it's, it's far enough away to be safe. So yeah, so nothing for us to not, be concerned about. Nothing of. for us to be too worried about, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, so students here in Halifax will be a part of this research. So what uh, exactly will they be contributing? Yeah, I mean, they're involved in all aspects of the research. So we're, we're like starting right at the very beginning where you're kind of writing proposals, trying to kind of um, use the telescope to produce or to carry out your projects and, and things like that. So students are involved in that kind of work. But once we actually get the data, and we have a lot of data now that we're working on, students are right from the very beginning processing the data, analyzing the data. It's a spectroscopic mission, which means that we are kind of like looking at how energy changes over, over, over a band and it's, it's, they're involved in all, all aspects of that. And then they get to write papers and give talks and go to international conferences and all sorts of things. They, they get to taste all of it. And in this process so far, what have you heard from the students? Is, has this been extra exciting too, you know, with this uh, funding boost? Yeah, so I mean, the funding that came out today from the Canadian Space Agency um, is dedicated to actually doing science research with these instruments. So we we go through a lot of like decades in order to build these telescopes and put them in space and these are like, you know, billion dollar projects and things like that. But then afterwards, we still want to support our students to actually do the work and to actually carry out the uh, the science. And that's what some of this funding that came out is specifically for is to actually support the students so that they can actually carry out this work. So we have undergraduates, graduate students working on this, um, some young researcher, uh, postdoctoral students and, and, and uh, young scientists working on it. Mm -hmm. And I should also mention that it's, it's not just CRISM, my project particularly that got funding, but also JWST and Euclid, which we are leading from St. We're leading efforts from St. Mary's as well. Awesome. Uh, so how, I guess, big of a deal that this is it for SMU and for the students here in Halifax? 
I think it's a really big deal. I mean, like these are these are the major instruments of today. Everybody's heard about Hubble, um, but JWST, CRISM, Euclid, things like that were, were are are the main missions of of today. And students in Atlantic Canada are are at the forefront of this new discovery space and and leading efforts. Them themselves are actually leading efforts, carrying the professors along with them um, as as they kind of take charge of these projects. And I guess just for for your perspective, what is it, I guess, about black holes that fascinates you? This is obviously something that, you know, being a, a professor, uh, tell me about that. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a tougher question than you might think. I mean, like everything pretty much is exciting about black holes. One of the things is, um, is the idea that black holes actually eject material. So not the black hole itself, but the region around it can actually be so volatile that material will actually come flying out of it. So we always kind of think of black holes as being these things that kind of eat up everything around them and they're giant vacuums or something like that, which isn't absolutely correct. But they actually eject material and this material can actually go crashing into the big galaxy and it can actually affect the way that stars form and that the way the material is distributed within the galaxy so it can have a really big impact on on how we evolve actually how how um, stars form and and evolution happens very interesting well we will have to leave it at there for tonight thank you so much for your time okay perfect thank you that was st mary's university astronomy and physics professor luigi gallo we'll take a short break now plenty more on the other side